My name is Renee Robertson, and I'm the host and creator of the true crime podcast, Missing in the Carolinas. Today, in five minutes of true crime, I bring you a case from North Carolina featuring a man known as the Babyface Killer. Leslie Eugene Warren was incredibly young, and he had the face to match, but underneath his youthful demeanor lay the heart of a killer. Warren murdered four women in three different states before finally being apprehended in July 1990. His crimes were the basis for an episode of the Investigation Discovery series titled Handsome Devils in 2014. Warren was born in Candler, North Carolina, and grew up in an abusive household. He began to show signs of being troubled as a young child after his parents divorced. While in eighth grade, he broke into a cousin's home and was sent to the local juvenile evaluation center. A year later, counselors sent him to Broughton Hospital, a psychiatric hospital in Morganton, because they feared he would attempt suicide. He spent 33 days enrolled at Inca High School in 1983, but he only attended 10 of those days before school officials withdrew him. While at Inca High School, a few weeks before his 16th birthday, he tied up a neighbor in her home and held her at gunpoint. A friend happened to stop by and helped rescue the woman. Warren eventually earned his GED, enlisted in the United States Army, and was stationed in Fort Drum in 1987. Through a fellow soldier, he became acquainted with a 20-year-old young woman named Patsy Vineyard. Her husband reported her missing on May 21, 1987, after he returned home from being out of town and couldn't find her. Vineyard's body was later found in Lake Ontario, near her home in Sackett's Harbor, New York. She had been strangled to death. Warren was one of 150 soldiers who were questioned at the time of her disappearance, but he was not charged at the time of her death. He was honorably discharged from the Army, returning back to North Carolina and becoming a truck driver. In August 1989, the body of Velma Faye Gray from Traveler's Rest, South Carolina, was found in Lake Bowen, not far from her home. It appeared she had wrecked her car earlier that evening before she went missing. Jamie Denise Hurley was 39 years old when she went missing from her home in Asheville, North Carolina on May 25, 1990. She had met Warren when he was sent to the local juvenile education center in Swannanoa as a teen. According to coworkers, Hurley grew to care about Warren over the years, considering him a bright young man and bringing him books she thought he would enjoy reading. She encouraged him to keep in touch with her even after she left the center in 1988. Just a few months after Hurley went missing, a young college student named Katherine Johnson, who was visiting her home in High Point, North Carolina, went missing after attending a party in July 1990. Each of the missing and murdered women had ties in some way to Leslie Eugene Warren. Investigators were already zeroing in on him as a suspect in Hurley's disappearance when Johnson went missing. They eventually captured him in High Point and questioned him about the two missing North Carolina women. Hurley's body was found in a shallow grave near Asheville. Johnson's body was found in the trunk of her car in a parking garage in High Point. Warren was eventually tied to the deaths of Vineyard and Gray. Both crimes appeared to be motives of opportunity. Vineyard was with Warren at a bar the night she was murdered and Gray had wrecked her car around the time Warren drove by the scene of the accident in his tractor trailer. Hurley had been a friend and mentor to Warren from his teenage years, and Johnson had met Warren at a party right before her murder. At the time of his arrest, Leslie Eugene Warren had a wife and child in South Carolina. He was sentenced to death in North Carolina for the murders of Jamie Denise Hurley and Katherine Johnson and is currently on death row. This brings us to the conclusion of this week's Five Minutes of True Crime. Please follow us at Missing in the Carolinas on Instagram and check out our podcast of the same name wherever you listen to your podcasts. Thanks for listening.